All right, it's time for Wheels and Axles Lesson 2. So to do this lesson, you need to have your um, Symbol Machines lap book. And of course, you need to have your definitions page. You should have one box left. You should have your label page. You should have these two boxes left. Um, your scissors and your glue stick. You also will find this. Now these are cut apart. This is, you have one, two, three, four, five pieces. And if you open up your lap book and you fold it open, you have a pocket. And in that pocket, you put all of these pieces. So you want to take those out. We're going to work with those today. Um, your response will be to lay these out on a table and take a picture of them and send it to me so I can see that these are done, not your pocket, but the pieces. So the first thing that we want to do is to find this blank piece right here and this middle piece right here. And we are going to cut out the two words, wheel and axle. We are going to glue the word wheel right here and axle right here. So everybody cut those out and glue them. Then the next thing that you are going to do is to cut out the last box over here on your definition sheet. It says this machine is a circle shaped object that rotates around a rod or axle and you are going to glue it right here. And then these two pieces are finished. Okay, now your other three pieces. Um, on this one, you are going to color the wheel and axle, which you remember from your video. He had exactly one that looked like that in the video. And you have arrows to label. So you're gonna label this one the wheel and this one axle, wheel, axle and then you can color it right then you have the one that talks about gears and it says a gear is a type of wheel with teeth around the edges and then a wheel and an axle can be used to lift and move heavy objects so we don't have to take notes on this at all all we need to do is color those so this is kind of a fun one to end our project with um, so we want to color and color and color and label and cut out and put our labels on there. Then your Simple Machines book can be turned into drop off on Thursday, on Friday. And then we're finished with our Simple Machines unit. Um, we didn't get to do any experiments with it, but hopefully you have a good understanding of it. We're going to do some fun things with plants and um, hopefully with some virtual field trips to zoos. I signed up for the Lincoln Zoo. I don't know if we've been picked yet. I'm hoping that we get picked. Um, just some fun science things to do throughout the rest of the year. Uh, not any particular units. So I will see you on Monday for some more science. Have a good weekend.